Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Xenosaga 3 Motion Revive Series Cosmos version 4. Now, some of you might have seen this statue before and that's alright, that's really cool. And basically it is the antithesis to the T. Ellos that I reviewed earlier. And I'm actually going to show T. Ellos later on. But basically she has the same articulation. She has different weapons as you can see. I have no idea what that huge beam rifle looking thing for you Gundam fans. But hey, right, let's move her out of the way and show you the box. There's the box right here. She, as you can see, she has nice blood red eyes. Beautiful. Xeno Saga 3 Motion Revive series made in China back in 2009. So I can show you the box here. Side of the box. As you can just show you on the top here. I like that little artwork. I don't know what she's doing. She got like that delta attack and this little spike over here for some reason. And let me show you here. Version 4, and as you can see, I'm going to zoom over here. She is interchangeable, some pieces with Tielos. What she does, I have no idea what the interchangeable breasts are all about. But she does have interchangeable weapons, and she can use this weapon that it's whatever the dragon's scale. Dragon scale? Well, whatever. Well, we'll just say it's a dragon scale for now. Whatever that big weapon is, I'm going to set the box here to the back. Actually, let's focus on the main woman of the hour, after all. Good old Cosmos. Let me lower that down. Alright, beautiful. Uh, let's just say she has the same articulation as her counterpart, so I'm not going to take that much apart. So, basically, if you want to see, here's the articulation. There is good old T. Ellos. So, she'll be taking center frame for the articulations, because the same same thing head swivel of course she has um, elbows elbow joint goes 300 or shoulder joint goes in and out goes 360 degrees double jointed elbows wrist swivel just like before now but let me show you she does also have a waist swivel all right with all those weapons I don't want to ruin it leg does go out is on a ball joint, has a little thigh swivel, single jointed knee, and of course the ankle joint, which is pretty much negligible because she has a high heel, a stripper high heel at that. So she does have a ball jointed ankle for posability. So let's go ahead, same articulation as Tielo's, take her out of the frame. So we're going to focus on her, show you the detailing. As I mentioned before, beautiful blood red, uh, blood red eyes, bloodshot eyes or whatever. I like the little, whatever, tiara looking thing that she's wearing. Uh, humongous bowling ball breast as noticed before. But I definitely like the deep blue and the uh, teal painting on the little gauntlets or whatever the heck those are on her arms. Now I don't understand why she has to dress like a Roman goddess slash stripper. Because she is a fembot. Alright, and like I said, because of her stripper high heels... She cannot stand. She absolutely needs this stand in order to actually have some kind of posability. So why they added an ankle joint is beyond me because this woman cannot stand to save her life. Like I mentioned before, single jointed, single jointed uh, knee joint, and of course the thigh swivel. Kind of, kind of tight. So some of these joints are tight. What I don't like about her is that she can't seem to hold her weapon nearly as much or nearly as good as Tielo's did. Remember on her video it was really tight. So this dragon scale is kind of neat. It's a big humongous weapon. Why she needs a sword so big I do not know. Look at that. It's like bigger than she is. Seriously. What are you going to do with that? I don't know. Look man. She can she can do a well that. She can hold it. Looks like her elbows are a little weaker than her, her counterpart. I like her beautiful blue hair of course. The low headband and of course the detailing on the back. A little few paint issues, but not too, not too shabby. I like the gold coloring. A little attachment, and she does come with several attachments. And I'm just going to drop that because that thing is a pain. It does not want to stick. But she does come with a gun, a silver gun, as opposed to T yellows. Let me move that so you can you can focus better. There we go. Good detailing on the gun. Ike, for the life of me, cannot get her to grip this gun, so it's kind of useless. And of course she has a little breast attachments. So let's go ahead and focus on that. <laughs> Why not, right? 
After all, that's what we came to see. Not really. Look, I don't know the deal with these breast attachments, so please, you know, inform me. What the heck is this all about? So basically, so you, uh, you don't get freaked out or anything, her breasts do pop off for some reason. And let me see if I can do this. Kind of chilly. There we go. As you can see, bam. Now don't get frightened. You just got a different looking thing that you can pop on right here for her tri attack or delta attack or whatever that light attack was. Then you put her, it looks like her breasts over here have much more cleavage. So look, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. Y'all can tell me. All right, I took her out of, out of the stand here. Okay, and then she has this pointy thing over here for some reason that gets inserted on the top here. Okay. Okay. I got that right, I think. Well, I lost it, so that's okay. I'm just going to put back that. So I have no idea. And since I'm on the second floor, I'm not going to go ahead and try to retrieve that. So I'm just going to put this back. Okay. And I like this look anyways better. That's okay. So, one thing I wanted to point out with Tielos is she does have this spiky thing over here. What she does with that, I have no idea. <laughs> Let me zoom on out so y'all can get a better look. Alright, not too bad. What's that for? I have no ideas. Well, that's all I got for y'all YouTubers, and i catch y'all next time.